This morning, we return to the downtown Lexington parking garage that doubled as the scene of two homicides in less than six months. Fayette County Sheriff's deputies put on patrol. Deputies now focus on watching that garage. Is it working? Georgery Godfrey tells us why people say it's an entirely different scenario. I was the one that called for the young man in October. It was my first night back on night shift, and yeah, I had to like hear his screams and stuff. So I'm like, I've been really mindful of that. Lauren Keenan was working that night. John Abner was killed in the 300 block of Short Street around the Victorian Square parking garage. Less than six months later, there was another homicide in the same location. And when we heard about it, we were just like, again, really? Like, just senseless. The violence prompted the Lexington Downtown Management District to call in backup. We have a foot patrol going on uh, midweek through the weekend, and then we specifically are asked to stay in the Victorian Square garage uh, due to the two homicides that Lexington has experienced in the last year there. Now, a handful of deputies roam the city streets, keeping an eye on downtown weekend crowds. The goal? Deter crime. It's one thing to feel safe. We want people to really be safe, to be able to come downtown, not worry that an incident is going to happen that puts their safe, safety in jeopardy. But Fayette County deputies aren't the only ones on watch. Businesses along Short Street say they've noticed the increase in police presence. It's an entirely different like, like a scenario, a whole, like a whole different experience. Back then, we were wondering, like, where, where are the police at? Like, why is there no presence unless, like, someone needed to, like, be called down here? Downtown employees say they usually feel very safe at work, but they are glad more is being done to make sure they are safe. Now they're here, and people know they're here, and they are less likely to, you know, act out of line knowing that they could possibly get in trouble. In Lexington, Georgia Reed Godfrey, Fox 56 News.